Hey, Camp of Hope fans. I'm coming at you from Delaware during this massive heat waiver dispersion here in the, uh, in the East Coast. Today it's about 107, but that's not going to stop me from presenting you with some tips and tricks on how to improve your storage here on your RV. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're, we're the, the Camp of Hope. I'm fortunate enough to have this 315 RLTS by Grand Design, which has a storage compartment in the bedroom slide. So on the other side of the wall is our bed. This makes a terrific storage unit for my camp, camp hookup utilities. So in these three boxes are everything I need for hooking up my utilities to this camper. I have a sewer line box, a water box, and an electric box. All right, so what I've done is bought these command boxes. It says it holds up to 200 pounds. They are the 17 gallon version and a 12. So you have two 17s and a 12 fit right in this slot. In here are my water hookups to include some Clorox that I spray the water connection when I get to a campground down because people change or drop their sewer hose who knows they clean their hands or not, and they go and hook their water line hose. So anyway, I spray this down before I hook up. But I got all my water hookups in here, including my zero G hose. I have 50 foot here and another 25 foot at the ready. So I have 75 foot of hose in here and my you know, water pressure regulator that hooks up to the uh, spout. Put all that in my 12 gallon container. All right, in my second box, or my second storage box, is um, a sewer hookup. In here, I have everything I need to run 20 foot of sewer hose. There's two hoses in here, two sewer hoses, which I bleach down and wash out after each use, of course, uh, with my Zero G, or my um, Rhino, excuse me, Rhino hose to, to actually clean the hose out. Fortunately, in this unit, I do have a bike tank flush also, so that helps a lot. But I got my slinky there, my slinky holder, and 20 foot of hose, and my rinse hose, and some connections that go to the unit and to the uh, outfall. And this other coat tote are my utility hookups, being I have cable TV hookup, uh, I got some pads here and some adapters and I'll put my uh, circuit breaker in there also. All right, so once I get all these picked up and packed up, it's real simple. I just put them right here in the storage compartment. Generally, I start with this side first, and that's the uh, dirty box. Electrical box. And this one fits right in between the two of them. And there's my water bottle. Alright, everything's stored nice and neat in there. Uh, it's not moving around, it's shifting around, and this works for us. Bam, and it's all closed up. So this, if you have this opportunity of having another storage area like this, that is a great way to uh, store all your hookups. Because as you can see, on this side, I have all my tools, parking chocks, there's my flagpole all hooked up in there. So this side is pretty compact and taken up. And then on this side, we have Tucker Totes with uh, campsite accessories, lights, flags, uh, bug control. I got my air compressor here. Um, my Valterra st stabilizers there. 
Uh, I got my parts for my uh, my Blackstone grill and some extension cords. Got an umbrella there, and I got a broom and dustpan hanging up top there. So storage is a must on when you're dealing with a travel trailer. There's not much storage space uh, when, when you're dealing with a travel trailer. So any amount of space maximized is a benefit. So that's why my little tidbit on how you can store your hookups. And even if you don't carry all that stuff like we do, it's still a compact way to do it and store it in your basement of your travel trailer or worst case scenario underneath the bed. So there you have it. Please subscribe below, like the video, give us a big thumbs up. Neat, real neat, compact way of storing your utility hookups using those tough boxes. Uh, get them at Lowe's. All right, thanks. We'll see you next time. And every day is once in a lifetime.